Well, it's that time of year again. Even before Halloween came and went, some states already saw the first snowfall of the year, or even multiple snowstorms. Elsewhere around the globe, like in Reykjavik, Japan, South Korea, Siberia, Mongolia, India, Mount Everest, just to name a few. Heavy snow has fallen, some setting new records for the season, disrupting life there for days on end. And yet, soon we will inevitably see articles claiming that snow is coming to an end. Nearly every year we get a piece in the New York Times and other mainstream media outlets claiming that we are going to see the end of snow imminently. Nature recently posted an article with the title, The Race to Uncover Snow's Many Mysteries Before It Disappears Forever. But what does the data say? Well, like all weather phenomena, it's complicated. The short answer to the question, are we approaching the end of snow, is simply no. Data is sketchy for much of the Southern Hemisphere, but Rutgers University maintains a pretty solid record at the Global Snow Lab for the Northern Hemisphere. And this satellite data goes back to 1967 and looks at snow extent on a seasonal basis. Their data indicates that while springtime snow extent has declined over the period of record, fall has increased and winter has stayed stable or maybe slightly increased. Snow isn't going away. In North America, it's about the same today as it was in the 1960s, and it actually recovered from a low in the 80s. That isn't to say that one year or even a few years in a row in a particular area might have more or less snow than average. But that's weather, not climate change. Other factors can influence whether or not the snow sticks, like urban heat island effect and other urbanization and land use related effects. But again, you don't need to worry that your kids aren't going to know what snow is, unless you move to the tropics. Snowballs will still be thrown and snowmen built well into the future, although frosty will melt eventually. That's all I have for this video. Please check out climateatglance.com to get more information about this and other climate topics.